Grade 5 math number 7, powers of 10 and multiplication patterns. We can use powers of 10 to help us multiply large numbers. The number of zeros we count is the power of 10 we will use. Look at this one. We've got 10 to the fourth power. That tells me that we need four zeros. So it's going to equal a 1 and four zeros. See? 1, 2, 3, 4. Does it work? Yeah. Because 10 to the 4th means 10 times 10 times 10 times 10. Four of them. Okay? 10 times 10 is 100. That's these two. And if we multiply that by this one, that's going to give us 100 times 10, which is 1,000. And then we need to multiply it by this one. 1,000 times 10 is 10,000. See? So whatever the exponent is, whatever the power of 10 is, tells you how many zeros to put. Doesn't that give you a shortcut? So, look at this. We have 400 times 30. It can be rewritten as 4 times 100, right? And 3 times 10. And then we group the 3 and the 4 together, and we group the 100 and the 10 together. So now we have 4 times 3 times 10 times 100. See? Now if you count the zeros the whole time, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, when we get down to this point, we see we have 12 times 10 to the third power. See? Because 10 times 10 is the second power, and that would be the third one. 12 times 100. 1,000 is 12,000. See? However many zeros you see is how many zeros will be in the answer, and that is what the power will be. Okay? Look at this one. We'll try it again. 70 times 5,000. How many zeros do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4. We can break it into 70 times 10 for this one, and 5 times 1,000 for this one. We still have our four zeros. Now we're going to group the 7 and 5 together and group the 10 and 1,000 together. We still have four zeros. So now we have 7 times 5 is 35, and when we put this into a power of 10, we get 10 to the 4th power. 35 times 10 to the 4th power is 350,000. And look, there's four zeros. So we could have even just gone like this and said, 7 times 5 is 35 with four zeros. Written it down and put our commas in. Isn't that amazing? Look at this one. We've got 5 times 6, which is 30, right? 5 times 6 times 10 to the first, and we know 10 to the first is just 10. So that means 30 times 10. 30 times 10 is 300. 5 times 6 times 10 to the second power is 30, and then a 10 has two zeros. That's to the second power. See, it tells you two zeros. 5 times 6 is 30, times 10 to the third power would be the 30 with a 10 with three zeros, and we get 30,000. Let's try it again. We've got 4 times 8, which is 32. 4 times 8 times 10 to the first power, one zero. See, it tells us one zero. 4 times 8 times 10 to the second power, it tells us two zeros. Four times eight times ten to the third power, three zeros. Now this only works for powers of ten. This isn't going to work for five to the third power or nine to the second power. That's not going to work. This only works for powers of ten. Okay? All right, so let's do a few of these. If a box of cookies contains 30 cookies, how many cookies are in 20 boxes? So we'd have to multiply 30 times 20. What we do is we group the 3 and the 2 together, and we put the 10 and the 10 together, and we have 6 times 10 to the second power. Then we could solve it with mental math, see? That would be, you know, 10 to the second power is 100, so that'd be 600. How about this one? 30 times 30. It would be the 3 times 3 times the 10 times 10. It would be 9 times 10 to the second power, right? 900. How about this one? 40 times 30. 
30 times 40. We do the 3 and the 4 and put them over here, and the 10 and the 10 go over here. Now we've got 12 times 10 to the second power. That means we have a 12 and two zeros. That would be 1,200, wouldn't it? We could keep doing this, see? 30 times 50 would be the 3 and the 5 times 10 times 10. 15 times 10 to the second power, see? Two zeros. For 30 times 60, we group the 3 and the 6 together and the 10 and the 10 together and get 18 times 10 to the second power. If it were 90 boxes, it would be 30 times 90, 3 times 9, and then the 10 and the 10 together from the 30 and the 90. And that would give us 27 times 10 to the second power. That would be a 27 with two zeros, or 2,700. We could do it with 120 boxes. We would group the 12 together with the 3. 3 times 12 is 36. The 10 times 10 is 10 to the second power. That would give us 3,600. We could do it with 200. We could group the 3 and the 2 together, and instead of 10 times 10, like all these other ones, we'd have 10 times 100. See? Because 2 times 100 is 200. That would give us 6 times 10 to the third power, a 6 with three zeros. We could do it with 5,000 boxes of cookies. 3 goes with the 5 over here, and then we've got the 10 and the 1,000 together. That gives us 15 times 10 to the fourth power, or 15 with four zeros. See, that would be 150,000. So just remember that when you're working with powers of 10, okay, just tens, not any other numbers, just tens, you can use the counting the zero as telling you how many zeros are in the power, see, or vice versa. If you wanted to turn 10,000 into a power of 10, you would know to do 10 to the fourth power because it's got four zeros. It would always be 10 to the something power. If you wanted to do 32,000 as a power of 10, you could do 32 times 10 to the third power because there's three zeros. See? Isn't that easy? So that's powers of 10 and multiplication patterns. All right? Keep up the good work. And I'll see you next video. Bye.